Hi guys. Welcome. I'll give you guys, a few of you guys are already in here. I'll give you some time to come in. Happy Aries season, y'all. How y'all feeling? Whose birthday is today? Whose solar return is today? It's Aries season. It's my solar return. Let me just start off with that. <laughs> I'll give you guys a few moments to come in before we get started. I just wanted to come on here and do a quick energy. Yes, David Mines. Welcome, Arian. Is that not on? Not so online. Thank you, David. Happy birthday to all of the Aries who are celebrating today. Thank you, Camille. I love you. I love you all. How are you guys feeling? Hi, Anthony. How are you guys feeling after the eclipse? All the conspiracy theories, you guys. <laughs> We were going to be sucked into the atmosphere, right? Airy season? Yeah, nah, I don't think so, baby. They better get their mind right. It's blessings happening right now. Portals opening up. It's the best part of the year. Tell me I'm lying. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Janet. What's up, y'all? Come on in here. You read the title? You're not to be fucked with, even if they tried. You paved the way, Aries. I don't care what y'all are doing out there. It's so fashion forward. It's so future forward. A lot of y'all are born before your time. It's just as simple as that, y'all. We can't escape it. Thank you, Amir. Thank you. Is it Cot J Boogs? You woke up sick today? Oh, baby, I'm sending you healing energy. Thank you, Samantha. Y'all, y'all, why did they try and paint Aries in the solar eclipse yesterday? Thank you, Tannis OM, for the super chat. Oh, thank you, love. Thank you, Lori. Why do people try and paint Aries out to be such monsters? You know, it's like that thing, you poke the bear, what do you expect to get? It's, I think it's like an urban legend, you guys. You have this name when people automatically hear Aries. They think you're supposed to put on a song and dance. They think you're supposed to rawr like a fucking beast in the jungle. And we are beasts. Don't get it twisted. But it's the, the best and, and most exquisite beast you ever going to meet in your life, love. 212 on the clock. Spirit, let's get into it. Where y'all at? Y'all ready? I am using today, I used Pamela's deck yesterday because it was the eclipse. Shout out to Pamela. Today we're going to use Sky's deck, which is the Paws Tarot. I want to pet you guys, but I don't feel like I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know what kind of pet to get, but thank you Sky for this. Um, we're going to use your deck today on my birthday love. Thank you, Sa Sabria Faye. I'm sorry if I'm saying the, the you guys' names wrong. I don't, I can't. Okay, there we go. Skylar, thank you. All right, let's get into it, y'all. Let's read the energies. Yesterday was sun in Aries, moon in Aries. Um, and by the way, if y'all are just joining in, Today is my solar return. So happy birthday to all of you guys who are sharing the same solar return with me as well. And to all of my Aries who are celebrating. Um, this is our time. I hope you guys manifested. If you did not get a chance to experience the solar eclipse, go watch my yesterday's reading where I went. I didn't go live, but I filmed the entire time in my city. Um, the 
majority of um, the solar eclipse from the beginning all the way to the peak. So my readings are timeless. Go back and watch the previous reading so that you can have that energy coming to you. I did it on purpose and go back and manifest into that energy. You are Aries. And even though the solar eclipse was yesterday, the energy, the power, this is one of the most powerful eclipses that we're going to experience in our lifetime. That energy is going to last six months plus. Put your intentions, write them down, burn them up put them into that video, baby, airy season, we up. Let's see what comes out. You on God's mission, clearly. Things don't happen like that. They thought the world was finna end, Aries, in your season, the season where the earth began. That speaks volumes, okay? So you go tell all your conspiracy, and I'm a conspiracy theorist, but it was really more so, I guess, like religious, you know, where people were like, oh, Aries is the devil or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, go get a life, bitch. Aries is the light, clearly. Let's get into it. Let's see what comes out. We're going to do an energy check. Um, thank you guys for all your birthday wishes, um, for all your donations, all of your likes, your subscribes, your shares. That's really most important to me. Y'all keep me going. You just don't know. I get emails from y'all every single day about how I keep y'all going. And just give me some grace, y'all, because it's a lot that we're growing in the collective. And it's hard for me to reach out individually to everybody. I do my best. Just know I love you, each and every last one of y'all. If I get to you today or if I get to you late, if I miss you, shoot me an email and say, Aries, you miss me. You know what I'm saying? We transparent on this and I'm not perfect, y'all. I'm never going to come on here and say I'm perfect. Okay, so um, we are family and I say thank you. I started this channel a week after my birthday, two years ago, and look where we are now. I didn't know if anybody was going to fuck with me. Anybody was going to care about my opinion as far as an Aries or an individual in general, but my up most respect goes to all of you guys that support Aries the Emperor because I would not be nothing. I would not be here. I would not be motivated. So thank you guys. I'm trying not to cry. Y'all changed my life. You guys keep me going. Thank you. And I'm dedicated just like y'all are. But it's just one of me. So I'm doing my best. All right. Let's see what messages come out for y'all. It's Aries season. Every day of the week. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you, Loki, Mikey, Wicked, Kalanda, Sarah. Thank you, guys. Spirit, what you got? Seven of Pentacles. We growing. We still growing. You're growing. And this rebirth is spirit letting you know. You see how he's got that shovel and he's trying to debate on where he needs to put the next pinnacle to take him to the next level. This is you and I. That's all. Think very clear, Aries, right now. You know, this energy is real wherever you are in your life, in your journey. Shit can turn around. I swear to you it can. You know, it's just all in the power of manifestation and more importantly, educating yourself. Okay, if I did it, you all can do it. All right, I'm celebrating and I'm not ashamed of my age. I am 38 today. 3-8 and I'm just now getting to some of the best years of my life. And it's because of sharing it with you guys. And I wouldn't change anything in the world. And I tell y'all, you know, Aries, we got the thing where we are the fire. So fire burns through shit quick. We are impulsive. Let's not sugarcoat the shit. It is what it is, right? Um, but that's how we learn. And I'm here to help you all understand that, especially my younger Aries, right? 
You have time. Like I said, I'm 38 in the last two years. You have time, Aries. Don't ever count yourself out. I don't care what age you are. You hold the fire. You hold the Olympic torch, right? The when Think about it. The Olympic torch is so important. It lights the beginning of the games. They need that fire and they put so much emphasis. It's like the Statue of Liberty holding hers. Without that, without you, there would be none of that shit. Fire is necessity. All right. You just find where your fire fits in. And even if it don't fit in, because my fire don't fit in in my regular everyday life. And guess what? Ain't nothing stopping me. I don't need validation because guess what? Fire don't need no validation. It just burns. And people are drawn to it. It's a mystique. It's a power. And it's you. Confirmation. Thank you. Is it Shadea? Shadea Palmer just emailed me and said, happy birthday. Thank you, love. Thank you, Amir. But like a, you ain't got to be no spring chicken to achieve anything, baby. I'm over here getting greater later, like fine wine. And Aries, that's how you are. Thank you, Kim. We like fine wine. Spirit is just holding us in place in time. Don't beat yourself up. Just work on yourself, love. That's it. That's all I'm asking y'all to do. As long as y'all keep working on yourselves, it allows me in confidence and drive and ambition to work on myself. Seven of Pentacles, hangman. Yeah, spirit is working on you. This Pisces energy. Look at the card. This is so cute. <laughs> Y'all just got to figure out where your fire lies. That is it. Ooh, excuse me. Justice. Didn't this come out yesterday? It's a whole new deck. And spirit got you in place and letting you put your foot on these motherfuckers neck not a ones in reverse <sighs> upright this is the energy of you know what I'm saying you doing your thing not being apologetic in reverse this is an energy of you know they want to pull you back they want to push your buttons it's not working it's confusion and that's where you need to put them. 12th house, Pisces energy. What people thought about you is no longer valid. The battles you used to fight are no longer valid. Spirit is ending those for you and allowing you an opportunity to regroup. It's just as it's plain as that. The star. I can't make it up. Ace of Cups. Yeah. What they dumped out of you, everyone that counted you out, every time you were looked over, Every time you didn't think you were capable, you didn't believe in yourself, Ace of Cups, your spirit guides are working overtime to fill you up and to keep you there. All right. You have no reason to self-doubt yourself, to look over at the other grass on the other side, because your grass is clearly being manicured the way it needs to. And that's all you need to focus on. Your focus should have been into Yesterday and now going forward. Uh, Ace of Swords. Spirit saying, ain't that the truth? With the crown, Aries Chakra. I 
I'm getting, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. <laughs> I don't know how the whole song goes, but Nina Simone is the original of that. I don't know what her zodiac sign is. Thank you, twin. Amy, thank you, twin. Thank you, Kim. I saw yours too. The Fool, Aries. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. I can't make this up, y'all. Now I'm, I'm about to get goosebumps. Work on your plan, Aries. Work on yourself. That's it. That's all you got to do. You guys are already receiving the messages, the information, the know-how, the wherewithal. Lead. I never read for so many people in my life who are, should be leaders out here in this world. It's insane. It's not just me. It's y'all too. Three of wands. Ninth house energy, Sagittarius, leader. Put your mind to it. Go out there and move about and do it. Knight of Swords. Gemini energy, communication in the neighborhood, talks about you, feelings about you, um, opinions about you, what you're doing, where you're going, how you're starting over, how you look. And how everybody's story ain't your story. It's individual. Your shit not going to look like somebody going to be a nurse or a doctor or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Unless you got those certain placements in your chart that push you to the healthcare industry. You know what I'm saying? Or the legal industry as far as a lawyer or this, that, and the third. But a lot of you guys are naturally spiritual. And that is where the ninth house comes in with this fool and this, this, and especially with this knight of swords energy. Like you all have an opinion that needs to be heard. You need to be seen. You need to be appreciated whether they care or not. And especially all my North Node and Aries, your job here is not to be like. Aries is not to be liked. Aries is a singular sign. So when you talk about going up against relationships and partnerships and friendships and family and how they see you, you are going to be looked at as the outcast in some way, shape or form. You're going to do something different that they're not going to understand. They're not going to appreciate or they're not just yet up on because you are burning forward like fire do. Fire don't stop for no man and neither should you. I'm learning that myself and it's nothing to be apologetic for. You got to live out who you are, Aries, and that's just dead on that. Fuck the critics. Especially Aries rising, intuitive empowerment with um Coach J. Aries rising, y'all got the most Aries because that's personality. That's what's shooting what people notice the most. So... What else, spirit? I just wanted to come on here and do a quick chat. I'm so hyped, y'all. It's my birthday. I'm so glad you caught this live. What other messages, spirit? The star. It came out. I cannot make this up, y'all. Right here on the live, Aquarius energy. The truth is you're the shit. The truth is you're the star. Age of Aquarius, let it be known. You coming through, you're not apologizing. You don't give a fuck who, who likes it or who don't like it. You don't need them. You don't need their approval. You don't need their money. You don't need their support. You got God source behind you. Just like you had everybody saying, like I mentioned about the eclipse, this is the end of blah, 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 blah. No. Hell no. This the beginning. And they better get they shit together. Because this is how powerful Aries energy will have motherfuckers running around here and losing their mind. And that's your power on an everyday basis, whether you choose to use it or not. 
It's so much spirituality pulled out here in this deck. It's insane. All the power players are here. And they all watching you. They all watching you on your journey. They all have something to say. They all have something to change. And now that they're visualizing it through you. With this Pisces energy and this Jupiter energy. Now that you are expressing and expanding through you. Huh. Throw your hands up, Aries. Throw your motherfucking hands up. Because you got them up in arms. Five of wands. I can't make this up. We 20 minutes in. I said I wasn't going to make this long. Aries, yeah, you right. Hopey Justice, the big goat. Lovers. God love you. And guess what? Guess who don't? They can kiss this ass right here. <laughs> Find you somebody to play with, baby. I be telling them Aries ain't it. Because spirit going to give me a sign in everything that I do and everything that you do. They can kiss that baby's ass, a.k.a. yours. We got a show to do, Aries. And let's give them what they motherfucking came for. And I'm going to leave this reading right here. I'm not going to go no further. But just beware. The strength that you carry. You best believe they're going to show up and see if they can get a little piece of it. The throne you sitting on. They just waiting to see if they can get a little piece of it. If they can at least sit at the feet of it. And that's up to you. Eric's, Erica said, no, don't leave. <laughs> you want me to keep going? Who got a documentary coming soon? Y'all got an Aries documentary coming soon? Yes, you are the shit. All right, come on. I'm going to give y'all a few more. But you hear where I'm coming from. Y'all know what time it is. And thank you guys for all of your love. Eight of Cups. But guess what? You abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore <laughs> look the only way you can tell them is to show them Aries literally literally and it hurt their feelings it hurt their heart it hurt their soul it hurt their origin especially when a motherfucker think they the sun the moon the stars and everything else and you have to come through and remind them just with your simple disappearance your presence your confidence your aura that nah, baby, shit don't work like that. I talk to God himself. I talk to source himself. And guess what? I'm going to let you live, but shit don't work like that. <laughs> Not in this Aries land. This ain't never, never land. Baby, this Mars and Aries, you and them are not the same. You are a Martian. Okay. And where everybody trying to get right now? To Mars. You better go ask Elon Musk. You go over there and ask him uh, how far is he in getting us there to the promised land. Aries land. Fuck you talking about. Y'all finna make me talk shit today. 3.33 on the clock, baby. I see you. Five of Pentacles. Who finna get left out? Huh. Not you. What I say, you talking to God, you talking to the most high, not you. Next, try again. Give me a few more spirit. Y'all not going to have me in here clowning the day on my birthday. 1233 in California, Erica. King Dave, thank you, King David. The moon. Tap into it, Aries. You already there. They on the outside with masks on. Not knowing you didn't already seen them coming. You didn't already had the vision. 
my favorite characters as far as like movies go and 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 bringing the pain and straight action the equalizer denzel washington john wick you those type of figures you know they don't make these types of individuals like they make you Hierophant, Taurus energy, you stand for yours. You are respected. You are cherished. You are the sacred lamb to Zeus, to this world. And like I said, you had these motherfuckers praying in a corner. Warning everybody about what? Bitch, please. This Aries energy. The world don't end here. It fucking begins. Full energy. Let me pull it out again. It's out here. King of Wands. Leo energy. We lead the pack, baby. We don't never follow it. And I need you to know that. Y'all celebrate this entire Aries season. Like this the last season on this earth. And guess what? It's only beginning. And guess what? They got a wake up call yesterday. They're going to feel it today and they're going to feel that shit going forward because they'll never feel a force like this. This the yesterday. What is this? The solar eclipse won't happen again for like another 20 something years or maybe out of our lifetime of some sort here. The energy has been put in and your intentions that you put in because you are fearless. What God say? You need to have the what in the Bible would say you need to have the, the courage of a mustard seed. So that's how y'all need to be thinking about the universe, right? You actually are spiritual Aries and you actually follow the code. You don't need to fear monger anybody. You don't need to judge anybody. Like I said, God is talking straight through you, a lot of you, because I have spoken directly to you guys and you are already doing it, period. You don't need no validation. You are the validation. They waiting on you. And that's what we're going to do for them. That's what I'm going to keep doing for them. And I appreciate every last one of y'all for being here. It's my second year on this channel that I get to share this experience with you guys. I wouldn't be anywhere else. And I thank you humbly from the bottom of my heart. I love each and every last one of y'all, Aries. I'm out. Love you guys. Mwah. Ciao.